Hello, and welcome to the first video in the new series, Templates, Using and Editing. In this series, I will cover the basic information you will need to get started using the Open Roads technology. In later series, we will expand on this basic course. But first, let's talk a bit about core concepts. What exactly do we mean when we speak of templates and how they're used? Templates are made up of points and components. You can think of them as being sort of a typical section. However, and let me stress this, templates can be quite dynamic and morph due to existing conditions and or design intent or standards. So, why should you learn and adopt this new technology? I have a short animation that I hope will show you. I think it's easiest to understand the concept of templates as taking the standard template and running it down your alignment. The software does this at regular interval and at key stations defined by geometry or the user. Then the points will stitch together and create break lines or chains. Finally, solid elements will be created by the components as defined in a template. All of these components together make up the 3D model, which will be a huge benefit to construction and a perfect starting point for visualization using LuminRT. Now, before we begin, I want to make sure we're all on the same page while we work through these exercises. To do that, we will utilize the delivered Bentley example workspace. First, we'll select the examples user interface then we'll pick a project. In this case, I'm selecting the Bentley Civil Imperial, but the metric project is also a valid choice. And finally, the interface that we're going to use is the Bentley Civil. Okay, now that we have all that set up, I'm just going to open up a blank DGN file. In this session, we're going to be working in the template editor, and I won't be doing any actual design work in the DGN file itself. I'm going to open up the editor by selecting the menu icon. You can find that under the quarter modeler tab and its icon. The icon for create template is right here. Once the dialog opens, one of the first thing I suggest you do is maximize this dialog. There are a couple of reasons for that. For one thing, it's a modal dialog. What that means is once it's opened, you can only interact within it. If you were going to try and select another tool or something that you might mistakenly minimize this dialog, your computer is going to ping at you at every mouse click. You're going to wonder why and get frustrated. Believe me, I've been there. The second reason is interacting with this dialog is quite unlike working in MicroStation, in that your work isn't saved until you manually save it. That said, if you close this dialog, it will come up with a prompt to allow you to save. But if somebody kicks the power cord out of the wall, you might be out of luck. Okay, now onto the dialog itself. Here's the menu bar, where you'll find your standard file-related commands. On this side, you can see the internal structure of the library file. Just below that is a preview view. We're going to get to more on that in a little bit. This area down here will be populated uh, with information about the points and components as they are created. Before we get to the working area, I will point out this toolbar here. And above the toolbar is the working area and finally some information about the currently selected item, which could be a pre-made component or a full-blown template as we have here. In the next video, we will cover the dialog in a lot more detail and start looking at some of the pre-made components and templates. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.